Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the function E, also known as the natural antilog or Euler's number, on the Texas Instruments TI-30XA calculator. To do this we use the second function key that looks like this, located here, the LN key with the second function of E that looks like this, located here, the positive negative key that looks like this, located here, and the bracket keys that look like this, located here. If we just want to get the value of E, what we have to do is enter E to the power of 1. To do this, we start by entering our exponent or power. So in this case, 1, and then press second ln with the second function of e to the power of x, and we see we get a result of 2.71828, etc., or e. If we want to find e to more complex exponents, we need to use our brackets. For example, if we want to find e to the power of 2 plus 3, we start by opening our brackets and entering what's inside, so 2 plus 3, and close our brackets, and then again we press second ln, and we get a result of 148.41315, etc. We can also get e to a negative power or exponent. To do this, we need to use the positive negative key. Again, we start by entering our exponent on the screen, so 2. And then to change this to a negative, we hit the positive negative key. There we go. Note we're not using the minus key. That'll give us a different result. We need to use this one down here. And then again, second ln. And we see we get a result of 0 0.13533, etc. All right. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.